So everybody, I got a little nerd corner here for you. This time I'm talking about the black sheep of Final Fantasy. I love Final Fantasy games, I really do. It's like my childhood. One, the first RPG I ever played is FF1. This is my childhood. My nerd RPG life is half Final Fantasy and half everything else. So I mean, this franchise means a fair bit to me in my childhood. But, 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 eight. Ah, eight. And anybody who has played the game and doesn't think it's great, I don't get those people, but you know, whatever. Uh, you're, you know where I'm going to go with this, I'm pretty sure. But let's have fun with this. Alright, so disc one of that game is okay. It's a good game. I love disc one. Disc one is great. You know, you're, I mean, I don't like Squall very much, but fine. You know, go talk to a wall, mister. I'm the anti-hero. It, it was 1999. You know, okay. That was the thing. Got it. You know, fine. Okay, Squall, he's doing his thing. It's great. I'm playing the game. We're going here. We're hunting down this sorceress, and she's evil, I guess. But, you know, hitting buttons. Great cool time. Fighting battles. All right, huh? this is Final Fantasy. Oh. Oh, but then, <laughs> Disc 2 happens. Oh. Oh, Disc 2. What did you do? <laughs> okay, because it, it seems like that wasn't the right sorceress. What? Okay, fine. Okay, I'm... I'm Let's chase the other sorceress that was possessing the sorceress. All right, so we're running around. You gotta go here and there, and then there's a president. You gotta fuck. Okay, some stuff's happening. All right, you know I'm playing along at this point. Okay, it's confusing now. I'm not sure why we're doing this. And then the end of disc two happens. And wait, oh, but wait, it's the sorceress on the moon. There's a sorceress on the moon. What? What? Wait, there's a nation with super tech right over there. Okay, okay, whatever, fine. Okay, just screw it. Screw the plot. It doesn't make sense. I'm playing this game. Fine. Um, Alright, so I'm taking Renoa, which the main character didn't give a shit about until suddenly he does, dragging her across a bridge that's a million miles long, apparently. But he can just carry her across the entire thing in a day. Okay, fine. Again, fine. This game is... It, I, I can't count the number of times I had to just look at the game and go, Alright, fine, whatever. That's cool, I guess. Oh, boy. Oh boy, but then, then, right, you know where we're going here. You fight the sorceress in the moon. Oh, but wait, that was again the wrong sorceress, because it's actually a sorceress from the future. Exploded. Exploded, and not in that good way. Oh my god, it's such a plot twist! Oh, bloom! No, just a... No. No. No! <laughs> Because why don't you just find this woman's grandparents at Sticky Stab? Done! You're done! She's dead because she wasn't born! She's in the future! Kill her grandparents! Done! Fine, but they don't do that. Okay, so we gotta go into the future to fight a woman who's not even alive yet, who's somehow messing up the past and wants to... Okay, what is time compression? Really quick, let's, as an aside, what is time compression? What was that? Okay, all time is at once? What, what does that mean? And why was the world map hazy? Wait, why is time compression the world map is hazy? That's all it really did. The world map was slightly different. Oh, and your airship's still there. Oh yeah, and all the cities have barriers around them to protect them from time compression. What? Alright. You just lost me 100% game. Completely. We're done with this plot that you pretend is real. <laughs> no. Fine. Fuck this plot. All right, let's let's just check out this last battle, right? Fine, we're popping along. We're in the future, uh, in a mystic castle. Okay, fine. Future castle. What? All right, we fight the sorceress of the future in what is the single dumbest dungeon I think that has ever been conceived. Oh, all of your abilities are just taken away. No, no, no. no. All right, here's a little side note for you people out there. If any of you want to make games or something. Here's a cardinal sin for you. Don't build up your players' abilities for most of the entire game. Give them these powers that make them feel like they've accomplished something throughout the whole game, the things that they've earned and worked hard to get, and then just arbitrarily take them away from the players at the end. All that stuff you worked for hours and hours and hours to get that you struggled through and earned, you know, in the game, earned it. Eh, yeah, this dungeon just doesn't have that. 
Okay, so why is the sorceress losing to us if she can just arbitrarily take away all of our powers? Why didn't she just, instead of putting a bunch of random enemies there that hold your powers, just come up to the party who has attack and item and go, Ha! Dead! I mean, why? She, it's her castle. She can just walk out, right, and go, boom, you're dead. And you, boom, you're dead. Hey, you, boom, you're dead. Where, where am I getting with all of this, you might be wondering, right? I narrated out a quick synopsis of how I think the game's plot is bullshit. Well, I'm looking at you, Japan. This is a special note for you, or any other game designers who might have been influenced by Japan. Cohesion of plot. Okay, this, I cannot stress enough. I can't, because... Your plot has to make some level of sense. Uh, yes, I'm talking about JRPGs, and making sense in your plot by the end of the game is never really a thing. I know this. I'm aware of it. But don't screw the pooch by the beginning of disc two. That's, that's a record too far. I expect the plot to, by the end of the game, go crazy out there. But not by disc two. Not by the first quarter of your game do I expect to go, huh. That, that's a bad sign. That is actually just a bad sign. I'm sorry. Uh, and when it just goes from bad to worse with each disc, when your plot goes from nonsense to garbage, uh-oh, 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 please, please alert warning something. Because I love, as I said before, I love the Final Fantasy genre. This, though, is its ultimate black sheet. This is the game where they did everything wrong. And anybody out there who wants to write, narrate, do stories, anything, I advise you to at least look through the story of this game to understand how not to make a story work. It's a classic example of how to take a somewhat of a decent idea that started okay and then just run it to the ground and then beat it repetitively until it's a nonsense mess. Please don't do that. Please, if you do anything with writing ever, just look through a quick synopsis of this game's story and then Put that in the note of bad ideas. Something to think about.